You wanna see something crazy? <laughs> Snickers presents WrestleMania. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. You know, different intro. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you like. Tell me what exactly you want to see from me. Um, but no, you read the title. You know what I'm talking about. We um actually now that pay per view start at the big four start at seven. We are 47 hours from the Royal Rumble match. Yes, ladies and well, the Royal not the Royal Rumble match, but like the pay per view Royal Rumble. I just want to say the Royal Rumble match. Like, you got to say in that booming, projecting voice, Royal Rumble match. I'll work on it, believe me. Um, but uh, I want to predict this thing. I haven't done a prediction video since Survivor Series. Um, I miss Class of Champions, but I'm out here to, well, as my shirt says, quiet the critics and predict the pay-per-view. Um, so Royal Rumble. I can do this now because those three kickoff show matches were announced uh, quickly. I only remember, I think... Revival face like the Bal like Ballard Club or whatever you want to call them or uh, Gallows and Anderson. So uh, I think uh, I think Gallows and Anderson again. Bobby Roode's open challenge. Hopefully it's Dolph Ziggler, but who knows? Maybe gender. And I think it's a cruiserweight tag team. So a cru uh, cruiserweight like eight man, whatever. But yeah, that was quick. I want to get into the actual matches itself. I'm gonna save the big matches for last. Um, two to three falls tag team. The Usos taking on Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. Um, I think we're going to get new champs in this pay-per-view. Even though, ever since the Usos changed their gimmick from uh, the regular Namo Samoa. And even when they were doing like the whole like the Samoan tribal stuff. But with um, the heel gimmicks, I'm like, this doesn't work. As soon as they came up with the Usos and then they started coming up with the Thug. But once they changed that theme song to that Day One-ish, I'm like, I'm down with a Day One-ish. But I think... I think that we're due for new champs. They've held the belts. It wouldn't surprise me if they kept them, but at the same time, too, it makes sense, too, to have uh, Gable and Benjamin win. It may not make sense, but I can see it happening. Probably one, one, and then a dramatic third fall. Um, Raw tag team titles. Uh, probably, if I don't want to see this match at WrestleMania at all, but if Jason Jordan faces Seth Rollins, you got to start to build somewhere. I think Seth... Seth's going to cost the team, Jordan's going to blame him, and then hopefully the Sleens do either heal Rollins, because I don't want to see heal Jordan. But yeah, so I think um, the bar, they going to win. Uh, whew, what else is in there? Uh, none of the women's champions are competing. Oh yes, the uh, handicap match. The wonderful and glorious handicap match. Let me open up the page quickly for the Rumble. So I can have everything on par for what I know is going on. Um, so let's see. Yes, the handicap match between AJ Styles, Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens. Uh, I feel that you are going to see AJ Styles retain, and this will lead into who I think is going to win the Royal Rumble. But I do think it'll be one of those matches where it's like AJ is all attacked against him. He fight back. He comes back. And he wins. That's what I think. Um, yes. He gonna win. I see both tag team titles changing, but in my next match, I don't see either big titles changing. Why? Because even though I haven't announced in the match yet, I think Brock Lesnar's going to win the t retain the title. Oh, excuse me. He's gonna win his match and retain the title. So there, I mixed, I fixed my own error, so... Don't call me out on that one, Lorenzos. Um, yes, but, um... Yeah, so I think Brock Lesnar, I don't really expect much of this match, honestly, other than them just to beat each other up. Uh, someone's going to die or go through a table, hopefully, and it'll be fun. Um, but in an interesting, um, uh, but I could talk about this match last, but I'm going to talk about it right now. And it is the 30 women Royal Rumble match for a women's championship match at WrestleMania 34. Um, I've seen a lot of people say they want current people to win, honestly. At this point, it makes the most sense. If you're going to want someone to win, it's got to be Asuka. Why? Because Asuka's undefeated. I can understand if she loses the match, but with people returning, or I don't, there's no women returning because the only other two women on the active roster are pregnant, and I highly doubt they'll, and there's no way in hell they're coming out. 
nope, they're too far along. Well, Maurice, you could tell, like, Monday night, you could tell she was pregnant right away, but Maria, you had to wait until you saw the, the bump. But, uh, no, uh, I'm going with Asuka. Asuka, Asuka, I'm going to do two things here. It's going to sound weird. I'm going to have Asuka as my winner, but my dark horse, even though she is nowhere near being a dark horse, is Nia Jax. Because, I only say dark horse because not a lot of people are probably going to be picking her to win it, but a nice little Nia Bliss feud, that'd be cool. But, uh, no, I've seen people say, like, oh, uh, Sasha should have win. Uh, but every time Sasha's held a title, she hasn't held it longer for the 20 days. If Sasha won the title on New Year's Raw, she already would have lost it. So if a Sasha Banks fan wants to come at me for that comment, pff, I don't care. Um, Bailey's Bailey's ba Bailey and Sasha are in that WWE purgatory right now, like where Barrett Rhodes, Kofi Kingston were were from like 2011 to like 2016. Well, until two of them left, and then New Day kind of <laughs> took really off. Um, yeah, those two are in that purgatory right now. So like they don't know what to do with them. They'll get thrown into something. You just know it. Um, another dark, and then if I were to pick a third dark horse just for the hell of it, I'd say, if I, I haven't said any SmackDown women. I haven't given any of the SmackDown Live women any love because they diss everyone like mad. And that would be, I'd like to see Becky Lynch win, but also, also, I want to get into who I, th I'm not doing this for the guys, just for the girls, who I think is going to surprise, not surprise, but people return you don't expect. Um, probably because they need the women, uh, Trish, uh, Bella's. I want to say Jacqueline, but I can't see it. Um, maybe Tori Wilson, uh, Caitlin, Eve, and I think it's happening. Ronda Rousey. Uh, I do honestly think it's going to happen. Um, and or hopefully, like she gets eliminated by Oscar like quickly, and then it sets up the two of them at Mania, or like her, like Bliss, Oscar, and Rousey. Who, like Sunday? It, it, like the more and more you think about it, this is the time of year when I'm actually excited to be a wrestling fan again. Why? We are less than 70 days, and I don't know the exact day, but I'll know it on Sunday, to WrestleMania. Yeah, WrestleMania. That little event that takes place in New Orleans that I've got my flight, my hotel, my Mania tickets, my NXT tickets. Uh, I'm going to be buying access, but I'll get into that later. Um, but yes, no, and all said and done and done, uh, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, will win the Royal Rumble. The first ever Women's Royal Rumble. Yes. Um, and also NXT Women Call-Ups, uh, probably iconic, Nikki Cross... Or even if they just do a quick one-off appearance, those are the three women who I think both makes it iconic. I think Kay, Billy Kay, and Peyton Royce will be in it. And uh, um, Nikki Cross as well. I can't see Amber meeting in it unless she loses to Shayna Baszler. But, um, yeah. But also, though, the Bellas come out, and I see all the Bella Mar like if, like the f few people at Bellas. Even like when I typed in Access, and they're like, Nikki Bader, Brianna here. I was like, I don't care. But at the same time, too, with uh, those women coming out, if the Bellas do come out, it's going to be everyone's going to be like, oh my god, they're back. It's like, they were on the show six days ago. It's not a surprise. <sighs> um, men. The men coming into this match. Woo! Uh, into the men's Royal Rumble, I should say, because this is not an intergender Royal Rumble. That would be weird. Um, I am going to go with... I am not picking a dark horse. So, God help me if Roman wins, because I was talking to Alex Lorenzo and Matt Lorenzo today, and Alex said... Uh, Roman can win a number one can tight number one contender match at Illumination Chamber and still be in the main event of WrestleMania. My pick is the King of Strong Style, the artist, either well known as if you like Michael Cole's reference, Shin. Boy, I'm going with Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, someone who I work with picked this, the Japanese sweep. I am very confident in the Japanese sweep happening Sunday night. Um, I had a picture taken with Nakamura. If my editing skills are good enough, I'll put a photo up here, up here, or on top of this. Nice. How do you see? But no. Um, and honestly, I can't see anyone big coming out. Maybe returning. Like if Jeff Hardy's recovered, uh, Cass is still far out. Uh, maybe a cruiserweight. Um, NXT call ups. No way, Jose Alistair Black. Uh, if even if they got Rick, uh, Ricochet in there, even that would be that would be sweet. Um, but I just know it's not going to happen, so I don't keep my hopes up. And also, I'm not saying Daniel Bryan for the reason why, because if you listen to Meltzer, he says he's not cleared. So don't get your hopes up if Daniel Bryan's not in there, because everyone's going to be like, oh, Daniel Bryan's out of there. He's not cleared. Huh. But anyway, that's my Royal Rumbles predictions video. Um, Mania's coming around, and also, also, I'm going to go freestyle for a second. I'm going to go freestyle. Why? Because... Because you guys, oh, the lighting got horrible, but it got better as I went into my bedroom. Because you guys are so awesome, and because you guys 
oh, know what's like not know what's up, but like you guys know what's good. Uh, I'm gonna be a bit of a good good person. I'm gonna do a good deed. I'm going. I had to go get it because I didn't prep for it for the video. But I'm gonna do something nice for each and every one of you guys at home. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. For the first time ever on this channel in my almost five years of existence on this very network, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. And what will I be giving away? You ask. As a WWE battle pack of Nikki and Brie Bella that I've had for a, a while now. I had no idea what to do with it, but you know what? Someone out there is a bigger Bella fan than I am. I'm not, re I'm not really behind them, guy. I it's not that I'm behind them, but it's, uh, yeah. So I figure if there's a Bella mark out there, a figures mark, that's uh, a little dusty, so I just got to clean it off just because it's been in my drawer for a little bit. But yeah, no, so this battle pack you see right here, uh, I'll be giving away. If you want, give away, give away. How do I? How do you enter this giveaway? You ask. How, how do you? What do you do? Who? 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 What? When? Where? Why? How? What do you do to win? Simple. If you want to win this, now put it down. If you want to win this right here, I'm gonna put it back down. But there it is, one more time. See, with Divas Championship. This is, I think, four, three or four years old. Um, but what you do to win is you comment down below. You either, I'm going to post this video to Twitter. So if you either like the video on Twitter, you like a recent photo on my Instagram or comment saying contest, or you comment down below, I'll be doing a draw sometime in the next little while once I get enough entrance to do so. So yeah, I figured it'd be nice. So it's World Rumble Predictions plus a surprise. This is what the surprise was you guys were waiting for for the last minute, uh, 11 minutes and about 30 seconds. Um, but no. And also, um, one, there is one thing I want you guys to do. If you really like this video, go and smash that damn like button. What are you waiting for? Give me a subscription. Share me. Get me out to the world. Do what you got to do. Main Mark Murph is here. He's making more content. Two videos in one week. Who knows? I might do a third. I might do a fourth. I might do a fifth. Um, next videos for sure. Look out for my Royal Rumble reaction videos last year. They were fire. They were straight fire, as Becky Lynch would say. And also... It got all over the internet last year, so I plan on doing that once again. But anyway, guys, I'm out because I'm hungry. I'm going to go get some food, edit this video for you guys. And, um, yeah, so I will catch you later. And if you are going to the Royal Rumble Sunday, enjoy. If you're watching it from the network like me, enjoy. But, guys, we are on the road to WrestleMania. Let's go.